Today we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing decimals. This is not different than how you've done it in the past. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time multiplying and dividing decimals, but I did want to give you a little refresher course on it. The only thing that will be different about it is now you have um, signs, so you just need to think about what sign would your answer be. So uh, multiplying and dividing decimals, and again, decimals are rational numbers. So maybe we should call it multiplying and dividing rational numbers and then we'll specify that this is the decimals addition. And this will be notebook entry seven. So when we multiply and divide, uh, let's start with multiplication. When we multiply decimals, there's one thing that's different from adding and subtracting. When we add and subtract decimals, we have to line our decimal up. But when we're multiplying, we do not have to line that decimal up. So let's just make a note of that. And we'll do it in red. When multiplying, decimals, I do not have to line them up. To line the decimals up. We don't have to line those decimals up. So let's do a few problems. <clears throat> let's do like 2.6 times 3.5. Now it just so happened that that's how they lined up. It will not always work that way. But you just multiply like you usually would. You would say 5 times 6 is 30. Carry your 3. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. Now you need a 0 here. Because now this is not really a 3. It's Well, it is a 3. But it's in the place that would be the tens place, so you always put a zero here. So 3 times 6 is 18. Carry your 1. 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 plus 1 is 7. Then we're going to add those together. 8, 9, 10, 11. 7, 8, 9. So it's 9, 10. Now, here's the part about decimals. All you have to do is go up here and count how many places are away from the decimal. So this is one, two. So I come to the end here and I go one, two, and this is where my decimal goes. So my answer is 9.1. And I need to go back. This was a positive number and this was a positive number. And when I multiply two positives, I get a positive. So it's positive 9.1. Let's look at one where the decimals don't line up. So let's say we have 10.89 times 2.6. We do this the same way. 6 times 9 is 54. Carry your 5. 8 times 6 is 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. Carry your 1. 6 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. And 6 times 1 is 6. And when you come down here, you put a placeholder, a 0, because we're moving over 1. 2 times 9 is 18. Carry your 1. 2 times 8 is 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. Carry your 1. 2 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. Now we're going to add those together. 4 plus 0 is 4, 9 plus 8 is 17, 7, 8, 9, 6 plus 1 is 7, and 2 plus 0 is 2. 
Now, we cannot forget to go back and put in our decimal. So we need to count how many places away from the right is the decimal. So there's one, two, and then here's one more, which makes three. So one, two, three. So we come to the end and we go one, two, three, and our decimal goes right there. So our answer is positive 27.974. And I knew it was positive because this is positive and this is positive. So positive times a positive is a positive answer. Let's, this time, let's do one with some negatives thrown in. Let's do negative 5 to 1.3 times positive 6. Six is a whole number. It doesn't even have a decimal, so we don't have to put one because it's not any, it's a whole number, so it's fine. So six times three is 18. Carry your one. Six times one is six. Six plus one is seven. Six times two is 12. Carry your one. Six times five is 30. 30 plus one is 31. Now I need to add in my decimal. This one is one place away, and that's all the decimals we have. So we're going to start at the right, and we're going to go one over, and this is where my decimal goes. And now I have to go back to my signs. I had a negative and a positive. My signs were different, so that means my answer is negative. Why are they both negative? Well, negative... 2, 1.2 times negative 5.3. Do it the same way. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Put a 0 here. 5 times 2 is 10. Carry your 1. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, and 5 times 2 is 10. Add them together. This is not my answer. I have to go back and put my decimals in. So I am 1, 2. So I go to the end and I go 1, 2. This is where my decimal goes. And now I see that I multiplied a negative times a negative. So my answer is positive because my signs were the same. My answer is positive. Positive 112.36. What if we have positive 10.22 times negative 2.1? 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 1 is 1. Put your 0 here. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 1 is 2. Add them together. And don't forget your decimal. 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. Here's where my decimal goes. And I go back and I check my signs. They are different, which means that my answer is negative.